here we go. Welcome back, baby. Welcome back to another episode of my career mode. I've missed you guys. Have you missed me? Because I most definitely have missed you guys. Here we go. We are the champion, as you can see right there. Currently champion. 16 and 1. And the next fight is Santiago Ponzinibbio. Santiago Ponzinibbio, this is someone that we have fought before. Um, as you can see, we doesn't even look like we even need to um, watch tape on him. We've already unlocked him. Uh, fight style, kickboxer. I'm going to say this, though. Kickboxers are very tough for me because of the way they move, because of the way they strike. Um, just everything about them. They're very intercept heavy. They're, they're tougher for me to fight than boxers. So just the fact that it's uh, Santiago Ponzinibbio, this doesn't mean that it's going to be an easy fight whatsoever. So... I am looking forward to a tough match for sure. As you can see, his moves, I mean, he's got everything that makes my life a living hell uh, in terms of striking, you know, the leg kick, the calf kick, the cross, the body straight, and then, of course, the guillotine. So this is not a guy that I'm going to take lightly whatsoever, um, and he's taller than me as well, so he's going to have the reach and, and advantage. So um, he might be ranked number five as opposed to, say, you know, Let's see who is right number two right now. Usman, you know, like I know everyone's like, we're all really looking forward to fighting Usman again. That's the fight that that's gonna be like, Ugh. but still, like, make no mistake, Santiago Ponzinibbio. This this is not gonna be an easy one. So, I'm gonna go right ahead. I'm gonna train. I'm gonna get myself ready. I'm gonna get myself prepared to get this shit going. And uh, yeah, I cannot fucking wait. Hope you guys are excited. Let's go train. All right, boys. I think it is almost time for us to uh, for us to face Santiago Ponzinibbio. Um, as always, verify that everything's okay. We're good. We're good. Oh right, yeah. So about to face Pon um, Santiago Ponzinibbio. But be be before I do that, I think I'm going to uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, what am I thinking? What am I thinking right now? My brain is not working properly. Evolution points. That's what it is. Jeez, Louise. I'm like over here like racking my brain. Like, what am I thinking? What What is it that I meant to do? That's right. Evolution points. I'm going to go ahead and improve my fighter a little bit. Currently, I have 152. I'm also thinking of just not doing it. Just racking up more evolution points. Um, just think, you know what? I think that's just what I'm going to do. At this point, I think I have enough skills to defeat Santiago Ponzanibio. Because like comparing my fighter to him. I mean, I know he is a four-star fighter. I know that's what he is. He's a, yeah, he's a straight-up four-star fighter. I am a three and a half, but I, I think I have enough skills to deal with him. So I'm just, I'm going to save my evolution points just in case I run into um, Kamaru Usman again. I might need to pour it all into grappling. You know, I, I think I might need to do that. In the meantime, I'm going to keep everything as it is. As you can see, we, we're going into this fight with very high hype. Um, I have done every single promotion that I need to do that's, like, mandatory. <laughs> I, I typically just skip that because I don't really care too much, but I've, I've, I'm have i putting more effort into it. I mean, I am a champion now, and when you become champion, you kind of want people to care about you. There's nothing worse than a champion that no one gives a shit about. So it will be, it will be nice to go into my fights with a little bit more hype. Um, game plan, game plan. As for Santiago Ponzinibbio, it's it's pretty straightforward. It is going to be a kickboxing match. I'm not going to look to take him to the ground. Um, very careful with the leg kicks. Very careful with the calf kicks. Same exact tactic that I used the last time. We're going to be careful kicking his legs. If he starts checking our own kick, we need to stop kicking him because we don't want our rear leg to be damaged while he's also kicking my lead leg. And if he, manages, if he manages to damage my lead leg and my rear leg is damaged, that's a very bad spot to be in. So we're going to be very careful throwing our leg kicks. Very careful with that. I might have to go with calf kicks because they're faster. Even though they're not going to do more damage, because they're faster, it might be easier to actually sneak them in here and there. Um, watch out for the cross. Watch out for the body straight. I don't think he's going to tap me with a guillotine. Not really worried about that. Um... As you can see, clearly his grappling is not his strong suit. His striking and his health stats are. So this is pretty much it. We're going to go right ahead and uh, go do this fight right now and uh, see see what happens. 
simulate. Do not give me an injury. Do not do it. All right. <laughs> I think we're good. Go to fight week. And uh, I'm taking bets. How fast does Marshall Mind lose the bell? Zach. Zach, you're going to lose that bet, bro. That's not a bet that you want to make, bro. I'm telling you right now, it's not a bet you want to make. Because I do not plan to lose this fight. Dude, how dumb would it be if I actually lose this one? How dumb would that be? Then again, this is how it typically goes. I mean, the fights you think will be very, very difficult end up being not so difficult. But then the fights you don't think will be difficult end up being very difficult. He might rise to the occasion. Like, challengers who are not supposed to win typically do. So, we are going to have... We're gonna have, we're gonna show him a lot of respect. Let's go, let's go. There's no need to, no need to waste time. I know you guys have waited for this episode long enough. Let me give you the fights you're you're looking forward to. Here we go. Relax. There's the calf kick right away. All right, let's start testing my leg kicks and see what happens. I want to try to use long-range weapons against him. Okay, throw that one. He didn't check it. Send him back. Ponzanibio is also doing. He's also doing that whole intercepting you with a with a back fist crap. Okay, he was moving to the left, so we need to go with the left with this one. When he's when he's circling to the left. When he's circling to his left, um, the other one lands. There we go. Nice. Circling. Ah, come on! Dude. Yeah, he checked it. He's just backing up and waiting for me to, to run into him so he can kick my legs. Do you see... Do you see the movement from Santiago right now, bro? Ah, I'm trying to back him up. Of course. Relax. Relax. That was bad. That would have been bad. Such a fast leg kick. He's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Patience. What? Yo, Santiago, bro. Like, why are you just gonna stand right there and just wait for me to, to enter the pocket? Son of a bitch. Just intercept City, bro. And the leg kick. It's not it's not letting me fake for some reason. Oh my god, that is bad, bro. The way Santiago is fighting is very difficult to deal with. Because he's not giving me anything to counter. He's just waiting for me to enter the pocket. Okay. Uh, 
Ah. Trying to give him a bunch of different looks. I don't know why it's my, my fakes are not comboing. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't understand why my fakes, why my fakes are not comboing. I'm trying to, I'm trying to throw a fake into a, a roundhouse to the head, just a fake to get him to to react and then throw a roundhouse to the head. But it's not, it's not working for some reason. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm not gonna throw a leg kick with my lead leg anymore. Son of a bitch. Relax. That's not good. Okay. Good night. Beautiful. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. My man leaned right into that one. Leaned right into it. <laughs> Boom! Beautiful, dude. I, I've just, I've just been trying to throw them naked, here and there. Just, boom! Right timing, just right timing. Poof! Ran head first into my beautiful question mark. Sat him down. Sat him down. There you go. I, that was my prediction too that I was gonna stop him in round number two. A lot of these guys, you know, it, they make it to round number two and then they just die. That's just typically how it goes. Ladies and it's my style, man. It's like I like to push the pace. Like I wanna, I wanna pressure you, and I wanna get you out of there as as, as soon as I can. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. I am very happy with that. And still, man. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. What I don't understand is why my. Uh, Longevity it keeps going down so much like 2% like I don't get it I don't I don't think I took a lot of damage in this fight. I mean I got hit that's true But I didn't think I I didn't think I you know, I took a lot of damage it just, At least it doesn't seem like I did You know longevity will always drain no matter how well you do time is always taken away and You cannot fight forever Okay, okay EA Longevity will always drain, no matter how well you do. Even if you go out there and you perform perfectly and you get a flawless victory and you knock them out in the first second of the first round, longevity will always drain. Just a few annoying aspects of career mode that makes it very difficult to like enjoy it long term. Longevity is one of them. The random injuries you get in the gym is also like one of. I think the most annoying one is like when you get injured for simulating a week. It's like. Bro, what are you talking about? But here you go. Santiago Ponzanibio. I'm so glad I did not waste evolution points trying to upgrade my fighter to fight him. Very glad. Because now there's a very, very good chance that the man we're about to run into is someone that we are very familiar with. There's a very good chance of that, boys. And uh, to tell you that I am not nervous would be a big fat lie because I am definitely nervous about the potential... Come out of Usman, fight number three. So here we go. We have defended our belt three times. First defense was against Kobe Covington. Dude, that was a rough... Man, they threw me in there with Kobe. And then, so far, the toughest fight I've had, probably the whole entire career mode, besides the fight that I lost, is Rafael Dos Anjos. I mean, this one went all the way to round number four. Dos Anjos really made my life miserable. He absolutely did. But we were able to get him out of there in round number four. And then, of course, Santiago. So we've defended the belt three times right now. 
Let's try to defend it as many times as possible and, and keep collecting those rubies. Those beautiful, those beautiful gems. New contract, baby. How much are we making now? 290 to show, 290 to win for a champion. This is actually kind of not the greatest money in the world, but you know what, bro? <laughs> I will take it, man. I will take it. Let's see. What bonus? Let's see. Which one offers me a high bonus? End contract at rank number one or better. Um, I could do that. I'm already ranked number one. That's going to give me 50,000 bonus. Let's see. Gain six spots in rank at the end of your contract. Uh, $100,000 bonus. Um, prestige one move by knocking out or knocking down opponents with five-star moves. So if I... I think one move that I can prestige is definitely my question mark kick. Because I know I don't think my I don't think that kick is at a five star yet. I think it's like a four star. If I can get that to a five star, I I can definitely prestige it. Win performance of the night two times. Win by dude, I'm not doing that shit. Complete three fights with with which reach high hype. Let's go for the hundred K bonus. I'm gonna do gain six spots in rank at the end of the contract. Why not? Why not? How many fights on this contract? Five. Okay. Oh, no, not, not that it's five fights. I believe that's just contract number five. Look at that. I'm a millionaire. I am a mil... Actually, yeah, yeah. Five fights. We got five fights on the contract. I am a millionaire. Is Martian Mind a seer? That was amazing. Damn right I am. You got to take the title away from a champion, but Martian Mind said, no way tonight. Damn right, Dana. Damn right. Um, Is that it? Can I get some more tweets? Positive ones, please. I don't want none of them haters coming in talking shit. All right, let's see. Who are we fighting next? That's the question that we're about to answer. And let's go. Your boy's nervous. <laughs> oh my god here we go here we go it is going it is going down boys it is going down let's oh let's do it bro let's fucking go it is usman again man oh this is gonna be the third time we run into this motherfucker and each time, it is not an easy fight, bro. It is not an easy fight. Woo! I bet Leon Edwards is feeling the same way. Like, Leon is thinking to himself right now, man, I'm, I'm the champion. I, I KO'd him. But God, I got to fight that nigga again. Like, oh, my God. I don't want to do it, bro. I got to fight. I got to fight that man again. I got to fight that nigga again, bro. I ain't trying to do that, bro. I ain't trying to do that. But it's okay. It is A-OK. -okay. Wrestler, look at that dude. Jeez Louise, man. He's going to just clinch me over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And try to drag me to the ground over and over and over and over and over and over again. And I'm going to be trying to kick him in the head over and over and over and over and over again. So that's pretty much what the fight is going to be. Take down City, head kick City, and we're going to try to get his ass out of there. If I can knock him dead, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So, whew. Man, don't worry, I'm not going to make you guys wait. Look at that, we're already starting with high hype. I mean, we're already starting with really high. People are really interested in this one, and um, so am I. So let's go right ahead and train, and uh, I'll be right back, baby. You guys are going to love this. I know it. So you guys won't believe what just happened. <laughs> you guys will not believe what happened, man. By mistake... I actually jumped into the fight with with Usman without upgrading my fighter at all. And I have 195 evolution points that I could have assigned to my fighter. Like this this might be the most This might be the most costly dumbest mistake that I've made in a long long time, bro. Honestly, like, it might be the dumbest, dumbest fucking mistake I've made in a while, bro. Like, I, I just, I'm sitting here, and there's no way to go back. There's no way to go back. Like, I want to upgrade my fighter, man. 
<sighs> so annoying. I'll tell you what, though. Like, I've beat him before. Like, I know I can beat him again. I just... I don't know what to do. Like, if, if I lose this match because of this, like, I'm going to be so... I'm going to be so pissed, but... Ah, uh, here we go, man. Here we freaking go again, bro. Here we freaking go again. I'm just so worried about this, man. Like, it's not that I'm not... You know what? Fuck it. I'm not confident. I don't even... I can't even front. I can't even pretend to be confident. I'm not... I'm not... Powerful clinch. Of course. I know he has a powerful clinch game. That's literally all he does. It's all he does. He just grabs you over and over and over and over and over again. <sighs> you know what, man? If I beat him, if if I if I can stop Usman, bro, um I didn't even talk to you guys about game plans or anything. I don't know. I don't even know what happened. I just like pressed and pressed and pressed and here we are, so. Oh well. He is the reigning, defending, Let's not cry over spilt milk. Let's focus on the task ahead. And the task ahead is stopping my toughest challenge yet, bro. They're right, man. They're definitely correct. Usman is 100% my toughest challenge. There's no doubt about that. He is my toughest challenge. I mean, he is the he is the guy that puts the the fear of God in me, man. He's the guy he's the guy that puts the fear of God in me. All right, boys. Let's go. Relax, relax. Relax, relax. You should have stayed there. You should have stayed right there. You're so lucky you moved forward, bro. Because that would have been a front kick. Holds up. 
Relax, relax, relax. Breathe. Breathe. Careful here, because when you try to exit, he'll try to kick you in the head or punch you in the face. Relax. Relax, relax. Relax, relax. It's okay. Relax, relax. Don't 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 chase it. Don't chase the finish. Don't chase the finish. It will come. It will come. Don't chase it either. Work the legs. Work the legs. Again. Make the clinch your strong weapon now. Relax. I kick. Take a breath. And then back. Almost ch check that. Okay, be careful doing that. about to shoot. He's faking the shot. Relax. Nothing there. Bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna taunt you, boy. I'm gonna taunt you. I'm gonna taunt you. I'm, I'm I'm calm now. I'm calm. I'm calm now, Usman. This is a different. This, this is a different version you're fighting. I'm not fighting you panicked right now. I'm not fighting you scared. I'm I'm just calm, cool, collected. And I'm going to systematically break you down, I swear to God. I don't care if it takes all five rounds, I will systematically break you down. There's nothing I do today will be from panic or from fear or from apprehension. It's going to be all calculated. Watch this. I guess I showed you something. Like that. Well timed. Well timed. <laughs> uh, you're going to have to try harder than that, Usman. You're going to have to try better than that. No, no. Relax. No, no, it's okay. Calm down. Striking this 
play by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Relax. Relax, relax. Okay. When he when he, when he's throwing like that, I need to just chill. You're very lucky. You're very lucky. The luck is relax. You gas out. That's what's, that, that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna gas out trying to do all this crap. You're lucky your back saved you. Hit him against the cage. here there you go round number two and you're tired you're gassed This is not this is this is gonna be rough for you, bro. It's gonna be real rough for you, man. He's cut me. He's definitely cut me, but um it's okay. He's cut me, but uh this is gonna be real rough. Cause I am denying defending everything. Stamina back. Great balance, great awareness. Move the head back inside. Turn that double into a single. Ball and got away from the corner. Great job. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Okay, I'll get you. I need to time it better when he starts to exit to stab him right there. Relax. Alright, 
he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. He's back mount now. Three minutes to go in round three. Clustering up now. This is where I get stuck, so I need to be very careful here. He's got me in mount right now. I see what you're doing. You're, you're waiting for me to transition so you can deny it and then go for a submission. That's what he's waiting for. I'm not going to play that game. Oh, I denied that. I denied that, bro. I denied that. Yo, I denied that. This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous, man. It's completely ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's just, it's, it's absurd. It's completely absurd, man. I denied it. I did. I, I totally denied it. Like, I was waiting for him to do it. I hit it as soon as he went for it, and I completely denied it. That's fucking ridiculous, fighting, bro. That's absolutely trouble. ridiculous, man. It's just it doesn't feel it doesn't it doesn't feel good. just it's right. You know what I mean? It's like it's like I like I I lost a hundred percent, but like the I'm the better the fighter. I was whoop. I was destroying you. It's always you. You always got to go to that stupid fucking gimmick in mount like it's so retarded bro bro like i can't believe i just lost to this guy again the same way champion of the world son of a bitch man. <laughs> That's that's ridiculous, bro. That's ridiculous. So like, you can't even deny the submission attempt. Like, there is that doesn't make any sense. I had more stamina. He was gassed, completely fucking gassed. I had way more. I I I, I, yeah. I guess it's just the the the, the, uh, the GA. Your last fight has caused your longevity to decrease to a level that has negatively affected some attributes. Bro, Usman is fucking doing me so dirty, bro. I think I also made a mistake there. Because when he had my back, I had the option of... It's... Against Usman, it's pretty much a tactical fight. Because, like... It's a tactical fight to avoid mount. That's pretty much what it, what it boils down to. Like, right now, we're two... Well, he's... Three and... Wait, no. Yeah, he's two and one on me. He... We've got ourselves a Jim Miller, baby. <laughs> We've got ourselves a fucking rival. It's pretty much a tactical battle to avoid mount every single time. Because when he had my back, I was okay. I felt I felt good. I wasn't worried about it. But then, um, but then I made the I see the mistake I made. I made the mistake of rolling to mount. Like I didn't. I wasn't thinking there. I should have rolled to half guard or let him hold my back a little bit. That's the mistake that I made. What? How the hell did Robbie become champion? What the fuck? Dude, I am so fucking pissed at this crap, man. Let me take a look at uh my attributes because they said that my attributes were affected. My longevity, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. What attributes were affected? What happened? Footwork, really? Takedowns. I don't give a shit about takedowns. 
Is that it? All right. Oh, man, that's so fucking stupid, bro. And you know, I know some of you are going to say, "Hey, you know, put some of put some of that in your submission defense." I'm telling you right now, it's not gonna help. It just won't. Like, if I spend all these points in submission defense, it's just not gonna help because the a like when they get you in that limb submission, it's it's such a fucking cheat code. You're not escaping. You know, it's. So goddamn salty, man. <sighs> there is no way that, man. I And I was good, bro. I was so calm in that fight. I was just, what the fuck is this shit? Hold on, man. Hold on. You, I'm rank number two, bro. Can you, like, give me someone else? I'm going to go ahead and decline that fight, boys. I'm going to decline that fight. I want something better. Like, I, I'm, not, I'm not fighting number four right now, bro. I'm not fighting number four. I'm way better than that. Let me see. Let me go ahead and decline that fight. Come on. Oh, son of a bitch. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I declined number four and you offer me number eight? You know what? I haven't fought Leon Edwards yet. I think Leon is going to be a very interesting stylistic matchup. I think he's going to be a challenge. Let's go. Let's let's um let's accept Leon and oh my dude, man. Dude, it's, it's so Yeah, I did, bro. I I did. I turned the fight down. It's true timing wasn't right for it now. We'll make it happen. Yeah, I did. I turned the fight down. I I just Look, listen, the truth, I turned the fight down because I thought they were going to give me something better, like someone higher rank. But, of course, if you turn, if you turn down number four, they're going to give you someone lower rank. Of course. Of course. I just got to be smarter, bro. That's it. That's it. You know, if the AI is going to cheat, I just got to be smarter. I got I to gotta be smarter, way smarter. Like, technical ability is just not enough. Because in, in terms of technical ability, I am so above... Usman, bro, like he was the, the dude gassed himself out in round number two, trying to take me down. He gassed himself out. I knew, I knew he would do it. I knew he would gas out. He did, and then I was like, I'm just gonna coast and just easily stop him. But then he got that one fucking bum ass takedown that he got, and oh man, <laughs> I hope you guys are entertained. As, 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 I hope you are entertained because, as you can see, the series the series is alive. Some of you were worried. A few of you were a little bit worried that I'm just going to now easily just defeat everybody. But as you can see, that is not the case. It, the series is alive and kicking. And we're going to have to see Usman again, bro. We're going to have to see Usman again. We're going to have to climb back up, win that fucking belt again. And hopefully... I can end that damn chapter with this guy, man. It's he's he's a fucking torn in my flesh. Fucking Usman. I love you, bro. My fellow Nigerian. I freaking love you, bro. But you are a torn in my flesh, man. I can't wait. Get, I can't wait to be done with him. He's probably gonna become you know what? The best case scenario is him beating. I'm number three now. Oh my fucking god! I should not have declined that fucking fight because now I'm right number three. Ah, well, there you go. My hope is that he beats Robbie, becomes champion. I'm probably gonna have to beat Leon Edwards. Probably gonna have to beat Kobe, and then I'm gonna get another shot at the title. Hopefully, Usman is the champion, and I swear to God, bro, I swear to God, this time you, you, there's nothing you can do this time. I'm telling you right now. This is arrogant me coming out right now. There's nothing you can do. I, I've seen your whole game. It's over. It's over. It's done. It's done. You've, you've got me with the same bullshit twice. I see all your path to victory now. You have zero chance of beating me if you don't get me a mount. And so you're not going to mount me again. You're not going to mount me again. It's not going to happen again. It's done. Over. Done. Never going to happen again. None of you motherfuckers will mount me again. In career mode. It's never going to happen again. And next time I get you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it a long fucking affair, bro. That's what's going to happen. It's going to be a long one. 
I'm not going to stop you in round number two or round number three. I'm going to gas you. I'm going to gas your ass out like I did the last time. You're going to be fucking trying to grab me and clinch and drag me to the ground. You're going to do all that shit. By round number five, you're going to be fucking staggering around the octagon like a sloth. And then I'm going to stab you in the face and get you out of there. It's going to be that simple. You don't piss me off now, bro. Piss me off. That's it. Cannot wait to get your ass again, bro. Legendary AI. Fuck you. Fuck you, you son of a bitch. Jeez. All right. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Fuck, man.